just continue on to uh, something slightly different here. This is called the buzz saw. Now, if you remember right, I was talking about the crank, and the motion of the crank is how one hand's up and one's down, and we just kind of move it back and forth between two points. We're gonna do the same thing, except for this time we're gonna do it with a buzz saw. A buzz saw basically looks like this. You might have seen this before. So to get this to work, there's a couple of rules. One is lock out your elbow, because if, you're, if you don't have your elbow locked out, you're gonna uppercut yourself, boosh, right in the face. Try it with just one hand first, hold the check out in front of you, and look, you actually have a lot of space before it hits you in the face. So get your spacing right, because if you don't have your spacing right, the moment you start swinging it, you're gonna hit yourself. So have it nice and locked out. I say lock out both your elbows, and the way this works is first get it to like start to swing towards your chest, so get it to a nice swing towards your chest and see if you can just get them to go. Now what I'd like to say is use both your hands, keep them nice and spaced out, and see if you can just get them going this same direction. I'm moving both hands up and down. If I didn't have the checks in my hand, they'll go like this. See if you can get them nice and straight. So it should look like a line. It's almost like I'm cutting my body in half, like this. As you can see, my chucks look very straight. From the side, they should make very clean circles, like this. Now, creating the buzz saw is as simple as, instead of having them both move at this in the same time, same, you know, in the same time, one is up and one's down, and they just go in opposite directions. So as one goes up, one goes down. Get one started first, start it up high, get this one started low, see if you can get it at the same time, same direction, and then all of a sudden start moving them back and forth like this. And what you'll notice is they'll start moving in more of a buzzsaw fashion. Now as time goes on, you don't have to swing your wrists so much. But when you first start, you might have to swing it a lot just to get the feel down. But eventually you can get it down to a very subtle movement in your thumbs, just kind of gently guiding the momentum forward. So here, get them together first. Get one slightly higher than the other. Start to bounce them up and down until you can feel it. And eventually, as time goes on, you'll be able to slow it down to where you can get them together. Now, when you first start, you may want to start kind of far away. Make sure this is nice and straight. But as time goes on, you can get your hands really close to the point where they're almost touching. Oops, I just hit my shirt. Whoosh. 